I did everything to try to like not have her be dead. Um, but I had no idea, no idea what their plans were. And um, that's why for me, you know, social media, fans reactions, <clears throat> all of it is incre it becomes like a, a collaboration. You look like you've just seen a ghost. You were dead. Fennec Shand has become such a fan favorite in the Star Wars universe. Mm -hmm. well, I know that's kind of a big question, but what does the role of Fennec Shand mean to you? It means everything. It means that anything can happen if you really dream it. It means, um, you know, fulfilling a lifelong fantasy of being in this franchise. I, you know, as an actor and as a kid growing up, I. I I, I wanted so much to be in a Star Wars project and, and I always wanted this in my life and never thought it could happen. Um, so the fact that it has and that, as you said, I love the word fan favorite. It's It, it makes me so happy. Um, it's everything. It's everything, you know? And, and now I can walk around and go, listen, you have a dream, go out and go and get it because it can come true and it will come true if you just want it enough. When you signed on for the role, or when you got the role, did you know how expansive it would go? Was there any indication that was like, oh, she's getting a spinoff, she's gonna be in multiple shows? Like, did you know any of that at that point? Oh gosh, no. And I, I don't even think John or Dave knew, you know, because in fact, I was sort of hesitant in the very, very beginning because I'm like, oh, it's only one episode, you know, and then she dies. And and I've been wanting to do Star Wars for so long and it, it just broke my heart reading that. And uh, but then after talking to John and Dave, I'm like, you know what, this might be my only opportunity. Take it, girl, grab it, you know, take a hold and grab it. And so um, none, none of it. I, I think it was just because Dave um, and I, he directed Gunslinger and thank goodness he did because we just hit it off and we, you know, had such a, a rapport. And, um, and then on top of that, uh, we both found out that we grew up in the same town. Oh, wow. So, and we went to the same high school. And, you know, so if that took it over the edge where he's like, oh, well, now Fennec can't die. <laughs> I'll take it. No, that, that was my next question too, because there was so much, you know, when she died in that episode, there was so much disappointment from fans of being like, that cannot be it. I refuse to believe it. I was like, she's not dead. She's going to come back. She's going to come back. Did you know <laughs> when you were filming that, that she would be back? Or do you think the reaction from the fans actually propelled that? I think it certainly, certainly propelled it, 100%. I mean, we, you know, I would always joke around with Dave and John. I'd be like, oh, maybe, you know, we could shoot a shot where her hand twitches and you just do a close up of her hand twitching. <laughs> I mean, you know, I did, I did everything to try to like not have her be dead. Okay. Um, but I had no idea, no idea what their plans were. And um, that's why for me, you know, social media, fans' reactions, <clears throat> all of it is, is incre it becomes like a, 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 a collaboration, you know? And, and I love that because coming from theater, that's what it's about. It's about having that connection with the audience and, and, and whether you inspire them, entertain them, you know, the synergy is there. And I'm so grateful, so, so grateful for all of it. Did John or Dave just like call you up and they're like, guess what? She's coming back. Not only that, gonna pair up with Boba Fett. I know! <laughs> so crazy, right? Well, you know, um, Dave told me that, you know, he, he wanted Fennec in the Bad Batch. And I'm like, the Bad Batch? Okay. And yeah, there was a different, there was another code name for, the, for that at the time. But, um, you know, it was a younger Fennec and he was telling me all about it. He was getting really excited and I was all excited. Um, so, you know, just it's just all everything happened and I'm just ro taking, taking, taking it for a ride. Your bounty hunter is Fennec Shand. She's new to the scene but has already proven herself to be cunning and ruthless. How would you say that the Fennec that we see in the Bad Batch is different from the Fennec we meet later on 
in The Mandalorian? Well, she's 20 plus years younger. So I think, you know, we had long talks about it. To me, if you're that young and, and you're trying to make a name for yourself, you're just more ambitious, maybe a little bit more ruthless, more selfish, and willing to do anything and everything to prove yourself. So there's there's a more a quality about her that's just a, maybe a little bit uh, uh, less seasoned, you know, more raw in her abilities than than the the Fennec Shan that we see in the Mandalorian, especially in season two. Um, but how great to be paired up with Boba Fett! I know. Oh my! And that that post credit scene from The Mandalorian season two was such a surprise that we were all just going nuts. How was your experience filming the book of Boba Fett? Fantastic. You know, I mean, Tim Muera is such a gem of a human being, first of all. And, you know, so, I mean, he's had a legendary character for so many years. And I love working with him. I love working with Robert Rodriguez. He's, you know, our showrunner. Um, and of course, John and Dave are always there as well. So it's just a band of brothers and, and I'm one of the bros, I think. I just love it. I love them all so much. And it it's fun. It, I mean, every day I go on set, I'm gaga, just gaga over all the toys, all the characters that come through. Um, Tem's a little more reserved about it. He doesn't get as geeked out as I do. So it's a nice so cool. yin and yang balance between the two of us. You know, he reels me back into reality. You uh, see. <laughs> I, I can't even help it. I'm just like, I, I geek out even talking to you being like, like Boba Fett's alive. Yeah. And you're like his BFF. Like it's just right, it's right. amazing. Whether, you know, they both being bounty hunters and especially he's also the Mandalorian, he's a Mandalorian. There is a, a certain code, you know, that we really do abide by. Um, and, and I love that we honor that. And I, I think because both of us have experience near death, it that, that also kind of solidifies that bond. We have that to share it in common. And, you know, because I think when you experience that, you sort of feel like, you know, maybe it is good to partner up with someone. Safety in numbers. Is there anything you can tell us about what the series will explore? I mean, the exploration of their relationship, you know, and, and what they hope to achieve. So I think uh, I think what, what their motivation and their purpose is, we're exploring that. And um, it's, uh, and that's all I can tell you. <laughs> that's what we do. It's coming out soon. I know. I, I feel like it's going to be here before we know it. I can't wait. Yes. Um, yeah. One thing I definitely want to bring up is you are getting your star on the oh, Hollywood oh. Walk of Fame. It's so crazy. What is happening? Who is Whose life am I living right now? I don't understand. I mean, I, I never, never in a million years expected it. My husband was the one that was like constantly saying that, you know, I should, I should, I've worked 40 years in this business and I've done so much and being an Asian woman on top of it, you know, it's uh, like all the obstacles and I'm just like, okay, whatever, honey. So, um, you know, he got my team to submit my name and I never in a million years thought I would be chosen as as a recipient. I'm so honored and so grateful for the people at the, you know, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, it's beyond belief, really. It's beyond belief. So yeah. well deserved. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm out of time, but so amazing talking to you. Thank you so much, Ashley. And I'm so glad you love Fennec. I love Fennec Hope so much. Soon.